Next up in the workshop, we have a guest from Sky Tier. Find out who they are. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. We are going to continue working on our Sky Tier figure, the Silent Ambassador. As you can see, we've got most of, well, most of the, the actual skin tones done. I mean, she's, I want to make her look like she's part of the rock coming out, because I mean, according to the back here, uh, they are assuming humanoid features by using the, debr the debris around them in a grotesque caricature of the ones who created them. So I decided what I was going to do was, you know, she's just a little bit, you know, she has a slight brown tinge com as compared to the, uh, to the ground. Now we're going to work on some of the fancier parts of her clothes and stuff. And to start off, I think we should work on the tavern, which is orange. So we will go to the wall O paints. And we will see what we got. scheme that we have is going to be pretty darn good. So we're going to start with squig orange. Give it the customary 80 bazillion shakes. Make sure that the paint is okay. Let's see. Gonna use our Army Painter character There we go. It's more than enough. In. Paint that tabard An orange color.
Now, if you want to, I mean, if, if you want to, you can paint the, the large parts in the legs orange too. But to me, that's just not part of the fabric. So I leave it, or I'll go back and I'll paint it black. So now that we've got that base coat down, it's time to move on to some highlights. And that's what we have the other ones for, the other colors for. So we are done with our squig orange, unless we make a mistake. Now we are going to go on to our Troll Slayer Orange. Rub it out. We don't need very much. probably going to stay with our small layer from Citadel. And this one we're going to add a little bit of water. Make sure there's a nice tip on the brush. Just going to add some slightly brighter pink, or pink, some slightly brighter orange to the folds of the fabric, leaving that darker orange. Those folds. There we go, just like that. You can kind of see the layers starting to build up nice. I'll add a little bit more of this brighter orange. Top here. You know, or it would fold over the butt.
And then we are pretty much done with our troll singer launch. Next up is our fire dragoon, our fire dragon right. This one we need very little of. And we are going to go from that small layer brush to my detail brush. The insane detail brush is actually probably better. So there is our insane detail brush. It you know focused for a second, but now I decided it's not to. But that's okay. And this we're just gonna hit some of the high points. Again, kind of, you know, on the butt. Maybe down on the corners. Howdy, Yancy. Not too much. In the front, there, in the corners, there we are. That's really all we need to do. Now, if I'm not actually mistaken, we missed something. And uh, that's a little, that's, you know, that's on me. So we're going to go back a little bit. I'm going to get my, make things look bigger part. And we are going to go back. The squig. We're gonna go back to all the paints that we have right out here, but I'm gonna stay with the insane detail. Because on the wrist of this creature. Got what looks like orange. An orange feather. Something. Now we're just going to try and you know, dry it up a little bit. Get some, uh, some detail.
these feathers. Um, just kind of do your best to pick out the pick out the details as you as you as you can. Gonna go back in with some administratum gray for kind of the belt. I actually think it's kind of a neat idea. No worry, we'll highlight that in a second. What I need next, actually, is where did you run away to? This is just weird. I'm not sure where one of my colors is. is. It ran away on me, apparently. But that's, that's all right. I don't need it right now. We can move on to other parts. We're going to move on to the feathers and the cap. Well, 
crown, I guess. I'm not really sure what you call it. So we are going to put down the insane detail brush for now. And keep it handy because we're going to need it. And we're going to go back to my small layer brush. I've gotten out my Nagaroth Knight. bit of it out. Watered it down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the feathers over here. Just gonna give the whole kit and caboodle kind of the purple. All nicely coated with the purple. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again, and I'll keep saying it. Whatever miniatures you happen to be painting, whether it's this one or another one or a whole army, well, a whole army of miniatures doesn't matter what you're painting these are your miniatures so uh, if you paint them whatever darn color you want Next, I'm going to go with the Xerxes. There's Xerxes. Xerxes purple. It's not much lighter, but it's a little lighter. gonna water it down we're not even really gonna take we're it's we're gonna basically do do kind of a dry brush Like I said, there's not a whole lot of difference, but there's a bit of difference. When I do the final highlight, that's where the big difference will come in. There we 
are. Jeans did their purple. We're going to kind of do the same thing. see how I've built up the purples. kind of gives us the, the depth. So we went darker, then we went to lighter, and uh, then the lightest. And this kind of builds up our feathers or whatever it is, the furs and the, and the crown piece. And that, my friends, is all almost where we're going to leave off for today. And that's okay. We got a lot done. Just a little bit more to do on it. And this one can be added to the collection. Added back to the game. I think it's absolutely wonderful. It's coming along just dandy. So I got so I want you guys to remember out there, of course, the same thing that I say every time. Stay safe. Be safe. Most of all, paint safe. And uh we will we'll, <laughs> Well, that thing doesn't number on my hair sometimes, but but most of all, paint safe, and we'll see you next time in the uh, in the workshop.